What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to clean and condition exotic python boots. I did another video but I wasn't really detailed on how to do the steps. So on this one will be very, very detailed. So first, what you're going to need is a brush. You use a toothbrush or an actual, you know, shoe brush. I'm going to clean out the welt. And then what I use is this Angelus Reptile Exotic Skin Cleaner. I'm sure there's other ones out there you can use. This is the one I use and it works really, really good. And then a cloth. And that's how we're going to do it. So first, we're going to use the brush for the welt to make sure to clean off all that little dust that goes in there. And these are my wife's boots, so I haven't cleaned them in a while. Go in there. And go with the scales when you're cleaning the welt to make sure you don't pull the, the, little, uh, the little skin off. And for the actual skin to clean them off, you can just use a cloth and just make sure to get, you know, that dust off of it. You can use also a brush just to get the dust off too. Just, you know, I prefer a brush all the time. Just, it's a lot easier. You make sure you get everything. The cloth, you might, you know, put the dirt inside the, the actual skin. So a brush is good to use, any kind of brush. So after that, what I'm gonna do is spray this Angelus Reptile Skin Cleaner. Keep in mind, it's okay if you get it inside the the wow, it's okay. Uh, this is distressed leather, it should be okay. I'm gonna try to avoid it to get on there because I have to use a different cleaner for the distressed leather, right? So I'm gonna spray the heck out of them real good. So, don't be shy, nothing's gonna happen to it. All right. I spray a lot on there. And it kind of bubbles a little bit. Let me see. Let me just get in there for you guys. See that? It's going to be really, really like a bubbly texture, you could say. I don't know if you guys see it there. I'm going to spray the heck out of them. Just to make sure it's moisturized, you don't want them to crack. And it's good to do this probably once a month. You see how the color looks a little different, but that's okay. They're going to dry up and just look exactly the same. And then what you're going to do is sometimes they bubble uh, when you put that a lot of spray. Sometimes they don't. But, yeah, you can see it on here. I'm going to get a close-up to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Go with the scales on this. Like I said, always go with the scales. On Crocodile, that spray bubbles. On Python, not too much unless you're really, really close. So remember, go with the scales on there, and it's okay if you get it on the welt and on the actual leather on the back. It's all good. It's just to moisturize it, make sure it looks good. And remember, don't be scared to spray on there. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna get the back too. All right. Now you kind of see the watery thing I was talking about. Just go with the scales. See here. Gotta make sure I'm going with the scales here. And it's okay if you get it on the actual leather. Just keep in mind it's all good. Just don't try to avoid it, but that's it. And then what you do is get a cloth. And just wipe them down. You can feel the, you know, the moisturizing going in there already. And you could go back in there with the, you use the brush to get in there in the welt just to make sure all the dirt is out of there. Cool, and that's it. All you're gonna do is let it sit there maybe for like 30 minutes. I don't recommend putting on the boot right after because it could stretch because you're putting on like, you know, moisturizer and something like lotion, you could say. So let it sit there maybe for an hour or so, make sure it dries really good. And that's it, I'll come back and show you. This is the other one, the, when I did in space, so I could show you guys. Cool. Are you back? All right, guys. So I let this one dry. As you can see, it looks good. Same color. It's just a little supple. You can stay nice and soft. So that's how you clean and condition and take care of your python boots. And remember, it's okay if it goes up a little bit. Just don't pull back on that skin. All right. If you have any questions, 
Let me know on the comments below. See ya.